so hi everyone in this short tutorial i will be explaining you langchain mcp adapters that will help you to connect langchain the famous generative ai framework with mcp servers that too in a very small code snippet so let's get started here it is a official repo that has been released by langchain to connect langchain frameworks to mcp server and here you can see that how it works it's quite easy we won't be deep diving into the working but how to code this out so let's get started if you go through the repo they have provided most of the instructions quite clearly pip install langchain hyphen mcp hyphen adapters this is the package that we would be using you would also require to pip install langgraph and langchain hyphen open a if you're using open a if you're using something else be it google be it olama you need to install that particular customization and you need to set up your API key also if you're using paid resources. If you're using Olama, I think that should be fine. Now we would be copy pasting this particular file, this particular code in a particular maths.server.py file. As you can see, I have created maths.py. This is a custom MCP server that we are creating using fast MCP. I'll be showing you how to integrate this langchain now. This is the script that the team has shared. I'll try to run this also. So it's quite easy as you can see here you need to mention your chat model do remember that it doesn't work with the uh, normal llms it has to be a chat llm interface and then using studio server parameters we are running a asynchronous call and which will help you to run a particular mcp server so what 3 plus 5 into 12 this will start using your function calls from the math server that we have created here so this is a very baseline example that i would be showing you you can integrate with existing mcp servers as well like file system slack notion etc so this is my script i have made some minor changes i'm using chat google generative ai because this particular model api is free to use and hence i was able to integrate it quite seamlessly and here you can see that i have updated the code the same file the server file that we have created you need to provide the full path here yes i have provided my full path the rest of the code remains the co same and i have changed the prompt here what is 2 plus 3 into 4 now let's try running this particular instance of mcp server using langchain so for that i will now open up my command line prompt so here you can see that the command is quite straight away python mcp server.py the file where i have stored everything and if you are able to read here as you can see, it is doing a function call somewhere. There's a model name coming in. Type is tool call. Metadata is coming in. Function call name multiply. There was a function, if you remember. Just follow my cursor here. This is a, I am selecting. So let's try running this particular prompt again. So now let's read this particular output one by one. You can change the prompt also. And you can develop it as an app as well. So the first tool call is add arguments are two and three. If you remember the prompt, it was two plus three into four. So first of all, it is adding because they were in braces. Once done, if you see here, the next tool call is five, four and the tool call is multiply. So two plus three is four, five and hence five into four. And the multiple call is also multiply call is also getting out. And here is the final output. 2 plus 3 into 4 is 20. So this is a very baseline example that I've used. You can even go with other model context protocols as well. So let me try integrating the file system MCP server as well. How you would have done it. So for that I will just search for the file system MCP server. I will scroll down a bit how to integrate this. And here you can see that the command is npx and the arguments are this. So this is the main argument which will call your model context protocol. And this is a directory you are providing access to. So what you need to change here if you wish to use this uh, Langchain MCP adapter with existing MCP server. So in this case I created a custom MCP server. So the command is npx that will come here and arguments would be the arguments that you updated in config.json. Nothing else changes and it will work seamlessly. So this is how you can work with Langchain and MCP servers together. You can integrate with custom servers also or the existing MCP servers as well. I hope this was useful. Thank you so much.